In our last video, we put baking powder head to head with cornstarch to see which ingredient would help wings get crispier in the oven. We found that baking powder won out by a little bit and baking powder made the wings just a little bit crispier than the cornstarch. In the comment section of that video, people are saying, Chef Ange, it is not baking powder or cornstarch, it's baking powder and cornstarch. So in this video, we're gonna combine the two, baking powder and cornstarch together versus just the baking powder all by itself to see which one can make the wings crispier in the oven. Before I get into this cooking video, check the description box below. All the ingredients in the recipe video are down there, but enough talking, let's get cooking. So we have these whole chicken wings that we're gonna trim up. I chose the whole chicken wings because one, I like the wing tips because I think they make fabulous stock. Wings are pretty expensive right now. These were two bucks less a pound. So if we're gonna save a few bucks, we'll trim them ourselves. It only takes a minute or two. So trimming these is pretty easy. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spread the wing. We'll go right in between the joint. We'll use a really sharp knife and I'll just get the skin cut so I can pop the joint out. Once we can see the end of the bone, I'm just gonna wiggle the knife tip right through. And then we got our drumette here. Now we just gotta get this wing tip off the flat. We're gonna do the same exact thing. One little knife cut to the bone, pop the bone so it separates at the joint, find the, the middle of it, and now we got three pieces. And the wing tips are gonna go inside this wing tip container that I keep going. Every time I make chicken wings, I collect these wing tips and then I make a nice chicken soup out of all the wing tips. And if you don't wanna do this, and you just wanna spend your extra money on already trimmed wings, go ahead and do that. But I like to do a lot of this myself. I find it a little fun. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our crispy additives. Here we're gonna do just baking powder. We did about three teaspoons for the two pounds of wings that's here. So about a teaspoon and a half for every pound of wings. Uh, here what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a mixture of the baking powder and the cornstarch. So we got a half uh, cornstarch, half baking powder. So I'm gonna give this a good sprinkle. And now I'm gonna get in here with my hands and make sure that these wings are well well coated with this baking powder and I'm trying to coat them kind of similar to how you would like dredge them with flour and you want no clumps but you do want to make sure that all of the the moisture on the outside of the chicken is in contact with the baking powder or the baking powder cornstarch combination so now this is a combination of baking powder and cornstarch on these two pounds of wings so I'll give a sprinkle right over the top and then we'll do the same thing getting a nice coating all over the outside of these. Now I'm gonna arrange these on the baking tray and I'm gonna put these in the fridge. So I'm gonna make sure that the skin is nice and tight and pulled up and we'll try to arrange it so that we're getting nice space in between the wings. And I'm gonna split this baking tray right down the middle, half and half, where one side's gonna have the baking powder cornstarch mixture and the other side's gonna have just the baking powder. Making sure they're nice and evenly spaced out is super important to making sure that air is flowing and skin has the opportunity to get crispy. If you overcrowd this baking sheet and put too many wings on there or they're too close, uh, it's gonna be really hard for things to get crispy. So I'm gonna take this piece of aluminum foil and I'm gonna put it right in the middle just to make sure that we're delineating where the, where the line is between half baking powder cornstarch and just the baking powder. And then we're also gonna take this little piece of aluminum foil and I'm gonna put it on one side to mark the reigning champion baking powder all by itself. And so now we know that this is the side and this won't get mixed up as we're taking this in and out of the oven. And this is gonna go into the fridge. We're gonna make our garlic parm dry rub and then we're gonna send these in the oven, give these a little bit of time for the baking powder and the cornstarch to do their thing on the outside of the chicken skin. Now let's make our dry rub. Here we got a tablespoon of granulated garlic powder. Now we got a second garlic powder in here. This is extra fine garlic powder, super powered garlic flavor. Now we're gonna add our onion powder, really fine grated powdered Parmesan cheese. This is the one good application for the super fine stuff. I didn't wanna shred any fresh stuff. I thought it would have had too much moisture in it, so we went with the two. Now we're gonna put in a little black pepper, some smoked paprika, some dried parsley, a little bit of salt, and we're also gonna add some powdered chicken bouillon.
Now that this is mixed and our wings are drying out in the refrigerator, let's head over to the oven. We'll preheat the oven. We'll give the wings a little bit more time to sit in the fridge. And once the oven's nice and hot, then we're gonna get them in there. So now I'm gonna put the convection setting on and we're gonna start this at 375 with the convection setting on. One of the worst parts about making wings in the oven is how long it takes. You can fry wings in just a few minutes, but the oven usually takes about an hour to get that super crispy texture. So in this video, I'm gonna try to play around with our cooking temperatures to see if we can get this done in an hour flat of cooking time. We're gonna start off at the lower temperature because we're gonna want some of the fat to render out of the wings and out of the skin before we crank the temperature up and try to get them nice and crispy. So before I take the wings out of the oven, I'm gonna turn the temperature up to 425. Then I'm gonna pull these wings. This is gonna give the oven time to bring the temperature up. So when I put them back in, it's nice and hot. So these are nowhere close to done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them over. We're gonna season them with the dry rub that we made. And then these are gonna go back in the oven at the higher temperature. So as I'm flipping them, I'm making sure that I'm not gonna damage any of them. If they get stuck, I'm gonna be really nice and gentle flipping them, but these are all pretty good on this non-stick. Great. These wings are still a little dry after I flipped them, so I'm gonna give them a light spray of oil just so the seasoning has something to stick to. And if your seasoning gets a little clumpy, just break it up by hand. As the Parmesan cheese absorbs some of the moisture, it can clump up. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle right over the top. Reseasoning is an essential step to get wings super crispy. And we're gonna do this every time that we flip so we don't have to go crazy with, with seasoning. Just making sure we're getting a little bit on every wing. And if you have leftover seasoning, good for you. This stuff goes on everything. Another light spray of oil on the top just to get everything that's dry. We're gonna go back in the oven for 20 minutes at 425. So you can see that these are already starting to get really nice crispiness. You can see that the skin is starting to bubble up in a few places, and that's a really good indication that things are getting crispy. So we're gonna flip these over, we're gonna put more seasoning on there, and then these are gonna go back in the oven for another 20 minutes. You can see that there's a lot of fat rendering out from these. So after I flip them, they're nice and shiny. So we're not gonna have to hit these with the oil. We're just gonna go seasoning right on top of these. And same thing as before. Season right over the top, making sure we're not missing out on any wings. Getting this beautiful Parmesan garlic rub, garlic Parmesan, whatever you wanna call it. And once again, a little light oil spray just to get any dry spots. And these are gonna go back in that same 425 degree oven for another 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull them out, I'm gonna flip them one more time for a final five minutes, just so they're nice and crispy on both sides. The more you flip them towards the end, the better crispy you can get, but we're not gonna add any extra time like we did in the last video. So now these are looking mighty crispy. We're gonna give them one more flip, one more reseason, and they're gonna go back in for just five more minutes. And even trying to flip this very first wing, it is super stuck to the grates, but I'm gonna to try to be really patient to not rip it off. Don't wanna damage the final product and some will flip really easy. Seems like the drumsticks flip always a little easier than the flats. And as I'm handling these, I really can't tell much difference in between the two sides. They look pretty much identical. I wonder if they'll eat a little differently once they get finished. And this is our last chance to re-season them. So we're just gonna go just really lightly on this last time. And just as lightly as we season them, we're gonna give them the oil spray. Thank you. 
And now before our taste test, we're gonna flip them one more time to let them cool with the presentation side up. All of these wings look amazingly crispy. And these aren't even as crispy as they're gonna get because as they continue to cool, they're only gonna get crispier. But these all look super duper crispy. Now that these had a few minutes to cool, let's check them out before we taste test them. So on our baking powder only side, you can see that this wing is super crispy both sides. If we run our knife test on the wing, let's see if my microphone can pick up on how crispy this actually is. So really nice and crispy. Now let's do the same for our baking powder and cornstarch combination one. So also really crispy on visual inspection. Uh, this sounds just a touch crispier, but the taste test will tell all. So let's plate these and let's see how crispy they are. So instead of the pickles that traditionally go with the Nashville hot, these are garlic parm. So I thought I'd take out these Italian pickles, these nice pepperoncini peppers to have while we taste test these. Right before we eat, we're gonna sprinkle on just a little bit more Parmesan cheese. I think that would be a really nice touch. These are ready for the taste test. So first up, this is baking powder only side. And we're gonna go with a drumstick here. That was a pretty crispy wing. I still can't believe how crispy these wings can get in the oven compared to deep frying them. Let's try another drumstick, but now this is from the combination baking powder and cornstarch together. So same drumstick. That was also very, very crispy. Those drumsticks were both fantastic. I really got to think about this one. So I'm going to have one of these pepperoncini peppers and then let's try a flat to really even it out and make sure that we're collecting enough information before we come to a conclusion. Now let's try one of the flats. So this is baking powder only. That flat was really crispy too. Let's check out the combination baking powder cornstarch together. Another pepper while I really consider what's just happening right now. After trying both of those out, I think we have a new champion in the house. These baking powder and cornstarch combination wings were just a little bit crispier than the baking powder all on their own. So in the last video, we found out that baking powder was better than cornstarch alone. But in this video, we're off to a new surprise discovery that baking powder and cornstarch together actually beat baking powder. Mm. Well, I'm totally blown away. I can't believe that baking powder and cornstarch is the new reigning champion and has dethroned our previous champion baking powder all by itself. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about this video and any other tricks, techniques, or ingredients that you use to make chicken wings crispy in the oven. While I'm finishing the rest of this wings, check out the previous two videos in this series right here. I'll see you there. Thanks.